Today, I've decided to present my collection through photos. A father and son pair of old bronze elephants with excellent Ho-Tang jade inlays. The bronze elephant statue is slumbering here. After I bathed the sleeping elephant in fresh water, it awoke and showed me Ho-Tang jade and bronze. My preference is to refer to this stunning bronze elephant as a father and son statue rather than a mother and son statue. The square Ho-Tang jade atop the elephant's forehead is crowned with a pointed pyramid, and the two circular jade pieces on the elephant's left and right sides reflect the ceremonial object's ruler rank. The bird dragon totem, for example, is common in Hongshan culture and is carved into the heart of this house Tang round jade. A closer look exposes the Hongshan culture's heritage and influence. The elephant's eyes and brows are individually carved and set in Ho-Tang jade. The elephant's trunk also has several Ho-Tang jade inlays. The elephant's trunk contains a sacred tiger figure. Two carved chunks of Ho-Tang jade are mounted on the tiger's back. Because the elephant's trunk lacks a water exit and is inlaid with Ho-Tang jade, it is not utilized to hold wine. This sacred item must be utilized in royal ceremonies. The Chinese researchers had no idea but could only reference the elephant piece in the United States, so they assumed the missing portion would be a miniature elephant as a back cover for the bronze elephant statue in the Hunan Museum. Now that I have my piece, I am certain the missing component is a little elephant. The little elephant's back contains an inlay of Ho-Tang jade that looks like dragon drawings. Two pieces of Ho-Tang jade are also put inside the small elephant's eyes. The bronze father and son elephant figures measure 87 centimeters in length. It is one of the world's tallest bronze elephant statues, standing at 70 centimeters. After cleaning it, I can clearly see the Ho-Tang jade and the bronze elephant figure, both of which appear to be alive. When you lift the lid of the miniature elephant, you'll find a large room inside. The exquisite carvings of the Ho-Tang jade elephant eyes and elephant brows can be seen after a fast rinsing. The deep depressions that extend all the way to the bottom demonstrate Hongshan culture's tradition and influence. The same tool markings were found on jadeware uncovered in the tomb of Shang Dynasty Queen Wuding. The mythological tiger animal crawling on the trunk of an elephant appears to be so lively. The back Haoshan jade square of the little elephant is resurfacing and revealing its charm. The back of the little elephant is adorned with a square Ho-Tang jade dragon pattern. The elephant's body, back, and feet are carved in accordance with the bronze mold and the Ho-Tang jade block. The elephant feet are also inlaid with Ho-Tang jade, as befits a royal rank of such precision and scale. The bronze elephant statue is elegantly decorated with beautiful Ho-Tang jade inlays that represent imperial rank. This is for us to study, the ancient Hongshan culture. During the Shang dynasty, bronze alloys contain nickel purified from meteorites, making them magnetically attractive. The back of this miniature elephant is coated in red blotches and green rust, and without the advice of my friend Ms. Olivia Ku, I can't see any inscriptions at all. Not everyone believes I have the capacity to interact with the Hongshan Sun God, and even fewer believe the Sun Gods exist. The Sun God taught me the secret technique for cleaning bronzes with red spots and green rust. Sun God demonstrated how to clean the bronze rust so that the public could once again see the inscriptions. I was able to compare the inscriptions and figure out what they said in the inscriptions after brushing off the small elephant's back cover. This is clearly the advice of a monarch seeking prosperity and stability for his descendants. This bronze elephant statue was formally recognized as the finest in the world, standing 17.5 cm tall and 21.2 cm long. It is now on display in the United States. A 61.5 cm tall, 96 cm long bronze elephant statue on exhibit in a French museum is the world's largest. The height and length of this bronze elephant statue in the national collection are 23.6 cm and 37.8 cm, respectively. It has the round, fatty shape of a pig. If its trunk is short, it could be mistaken for a pig statue. Unfortunately, the top cover for this bronze figurine of an elephant holding two children is also missing, leaving the artwork incomplete. Because the top cover is missing, the Hunan National Museum's bronze status measures 22.8 cm in height and 26.5 cm in length. As a result of the missing piece, the world has looked down on our national treasure. It was unearthed in the area surrounding Yuang, Huanggong City, Hubei Province, in 1973, and is now on display in the Hubei Provincial Museum's elephant statute. Its 29.4 cm height and 29 cm length give it the appearance of a galloping elephant. Finally, I'll summarize, I cherish Chinese culture, but it pains me to see so many of our national treasures traded abroad, and the owners shamelessly boast that their collections are the best and that no one can match what they have. I simply cannot accept this claim. We now have not only the perfect bronze elephant statues inlaid with Ho-Tang jade but also the world's only father and son bronze elephant statue set. 
This cultural artifact, which has 10 ancient Chinese inscriptions, is both rare and regarded as a national treasure. No matter where you were born, you should now be proud to be Chinese. On behalf of my fellow Chinese, I took a deep breath of relief. This elephant Hutang Jade statue will be shown at a one-of-a-kind museum that I will build in Hong Kong to house these two elephant statues, both of which are national treasures. Let us carry the torch of Chinese culture on with the blessings of the Buddha, the sun gods, and the local deity, and pray sincerely together.